Hi, my name is Blake Wagner. I'm a coach and teacher here at Hampshire Finette High School in Southeast Texas, the Golden Triangle. And we're reaching out to Holman Lockers in hopes of us getting a locker room that we desperately need. So let's go check it out. That's our favorite mirror, by the way. So in 2017, we were hit by Hurricane Harvey. And in this year, 2019, we were hit by Tropical Storm Imelda. And these were both 100-year floods. For instance, in Tropical Storm Imelda, we had 43 inches of rainfall in one night. And so as a result, uh, two of our schools were flooded and we took those kids on here. So this was used as a refuge, uh, meaning that our lockers in the meantime have been broke, uh, beat up, uh, they're bent, they will not open but we've been making it work. When our kids try to get in them, they won't close. The tops of the lockers have been morphed. Well, they're no longer straight, they're all bent. And because we took on the extra school here, it feels like we have about a thousand kids in this locker room. We have three to a locker right now, and that age is, uh, can be from seventh grade to seniors. So that can make for some interesting times here in this locker room, but we've made it work. The faucets on the sinks are broke, so you can't turn the water on. And if you do somehow get it on, you won't be able to get it off. The ceiling is falling down on us. The walls are stained. The ceilings are stained. Our lights are broke uh, and flicker on and off. Uh, but I promise this isn't th something from a horror film. Uh, this is where we are every day. And so now we're gonna talk uh, to some kids about what their experience has been and why uh, we would really appreciate a locker room that makes our kids feel special. I don't have a hole in my shorts. Dante's looking at me. Awesome. Thank you. Very good cleaning quote. Yeah, if we don't, we can cut anything, we can add anything. Yeah. Here's a good one. Are you ready? All right, talk to us about how you were affected by the last two storms. Both of my houses, my mom and my dad are divorced and they both flooded each time. Uh, I lived with my dad and, you know, as soon as it dry everything dried up, we had to gut the houses and everything. My mom lived in Port Arthur and she lost everything and she, you know, up and moved to Houston. And uh, so I had to move one family out and then keep rebuilding with one family. And uh, we barely, we were almost done this close. And, uh, and then Imelda hit and we gutted everything back out. My mom changed states this time. And uh, so we're almost done now. My mom and dad woke me up at like four in the morning and was like, we gotta go. And that's when I kind of was like, crap, like this is it, this is real. Um, we're about to be, you know, one of those families that gets hit. And um, it was really shocking and upsetting and really shook uh, what I thought was going to be my senior year. And how much did it mean to you to get that new locker? It would mean a lot because it could just be something that we could call our own because a lot of things got destroyed. That really uplifts the community. I mean, we've had some rough goes lately, so that would really help out the community and the school and bring us together. It would mean a lot because we won't be all together. We have more space and more room to actually do stuff. Maybe like use lockers to put like our gym stuff in and our shoes. So we'll have to like maybe forget it at home or something. It'd be great. Everybody shares that one locker room. So we don't really have our own space for our clothes really. It's like being in a small room with one of your siblings. It doesn't work out, but except 300 more siblings. Well, I mean, these kids have been a lot, been through a lot, and um, I feel like they deserve a new facility. It would just you know, lift this place up and give the community something to, something to talk about beside the storm. Um, this community, I think, is so special just because when people and families did get hit, they all um, came together and helped each other out and literally saved their lives. Um, I think that the people here in Hampshire Finette just have such big hearts that um, that they deserve to have an amazing facility that um, they can be in every day. Awesome. Thank you. There's no rats. <laughs> so there's no rats. <laughs>